Good morning. Thanks for tuning in. Hey, I read something in Book of Mysteries by Jonathan Kahn and kind of pertains more to last week, but hey, I think we can, we can still do it this week, right? So uh, many of us have been to a Passover Seder meal at some point. And I find it interesting because it's a reenactment of the Passover and it's what Jesus and the disciples would have done on, on that Thursday evening before they went to, um, went to the Garden of Gethsemane, went to the Mount of Olives. So in the, uh, in the book of mysteries, you've got the teacher and you've got the student. And he says in the New Covenant Scriptures, it's recorded that at the end of the Passover Seder, the Last Supper, Messiah and his disciples sang a song. Now, what song would they have sung? When it does say that, it's Matthew uh, 26, 30 says, Then they sang a hymn and went out to the Mount of Olives. And that sounds like quite a stretch to say, I know what they were singing. They were singing, How Great Thou Art. Now, that's not the one that they were singing. But the fact of the matter is, the word in the Greek is, is humnos, and humnos was used to speak of psalms in Israel. And so I did some research on my own. Sometimes I read things in a book and I say, Are you sure about that? Well, sure enough, there's this part of the Psalms, I think it's Psalm 112 through 118, and they're called the Halals. And the Halals, they would sing the beginning ones at the beginning of the, the Passover meal, and the others they would sing at the end. And so the final one is Psalm 118. And towards the end of Psalm 118, the disciples would have been singing this, this line which I think you'll recognize because it's quoted in the New Covenant. The stone which the builders rejected has become the chief cornerstone. So the Hebrew word used for rejected also means despised and abhorred. So it's pretty obvious who's the rejected stone. Well, it's the Messiah. It's Jesus. And this is right before he's going to the Mount of Olives. They sing the song. They go to the Mount of Olives. He goes to the Garden of Gethsemane. What happens there? He prays and he's arrested. And then from there, he's despised and rejected. He's beaten. He has the, the mockery of a, a sham trial, uh, false accusations, the works, and then he's crucified. So all of those things happen. But this is amazing. That It doesn't just mean that the disciples were singing Psalm 18, that the disciples were singing that the stone which the builders rejected has become the chief cornerstone. It means that houses all over Jerusalem and all around Israel were singing that, but especially Jerusalem because all the pilgrims have come to Jerusalem for the Passover. They are all singing it on the Passover when it would all come to pass, that the stone would be rejected. And indeed, Jesus was rejected, arrested, despised, abhorred, finally crucified, which is the epitome of, of rejection. But that very stone became the chief cornerstone. Two days later, on day one, on Resurrection Easter Sunday, he becomes the cornerstone. I mean, our calendar starts, this is the year of our Lord, 2024. Okay, I mean, think of the changes that Jesus has made in, in the world since then. The rejected one, the despised one. He has changed history. He's changed civilization. He's changed the world. Kings, queens, generals, emperors bow down before him, worship him. The man who was nailed to a cross, the man who was rejected, the most pivotal world-changing life on this planet was the life of a crucified Jewish rabbi, the stone of rejection. But he has become the cornerstone of all human history. And so, in God, the object of man's hatred, Jesus, becomes the center of his love. The object of man's despising becomes the vessel of God's glory. Isn't that cool? Isn't that amazing how God takes that which human beings reject and he uses it? And it was all there that night in the Passover Seder, in the song of the stone, the stone that was rejected, but now he's become our cornerstone. May he be the cornerstone of your life, your family, your world. God bless you. Have a great week.